Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to do the second half of my Watt Sold which will be for last weekend, August 12th through the 14th. Um, it's been going okay, doing a whole lot of cross listing daily, no, trying to get there. I'm trying to implement it where while I'm working down here processing stuff, taking pictures and getting my spreadsheet done and everything, that I open up like 10 listings that I'm going to send to Mercari um, and then just keep working and then eventually go get all of them finished up and then do it again. And that way during the day, you know, I'm getting some of that done instead of at the end of the day when I'm tired and I'm going upstairs and I need to finish up doing my comps and doing my ending and sell similar and anything like that, you know, it's getting done instead of me like tomorrow. So that's that's my new strategy. I'm not doing a whole lot each day, but I am trying to hit a few on Etsy, some on Mercari, some on Facebook, not Facebook, um, Poshmark, Facebook. Let me tell you, yesterday I got a message from somebody trying to buy a Little People play set that I had cross-listed to Facebook Marketplace. She did not have the buy box. I went in, my listing seemed fine. I went into Robert's Facebook and looked at my item. It had the buy box. She did not, and I lost that customer. So my thoughts on this are, I'm gonna end everything on Facebook, which is over 2,000 items, because at this point, I think my items have been listed a while, and even doing the renewing and the delete and sell similar, they're not being shown. They're not. Facebook's broken. But what I plan on doing is right now, Robert's downloading all of my Mercari listings into List Perfectly, into their catalog. And that way I can start keeping up with doing the delete and sell similar onto Mercari because trying to do 10,000 on eBay, I just, I can't even imagine. But when I get all of Mercari's in there, then I'll figure out which one of those I also have on Poshmark. And then from that point on, I'm gonna start putting stuff onto Mercari, but also cross-listing back to Poshmark and to Facebook. We'll see how that all works out. I don't know. But again, everything's still gonna start on eBay. That's just how, that's how I work. It starts there and then I'll cross list things slowly but surely, more things into the List Perfectly catalog from eBay. But right now I just wanna focus on one of the other platforms that's not as easy to delete and sell similar as it is on eBay. eBay's much faster for doing that for eBay. I hope that all makes sense. But I'm gonna be sharing some of my solds. I have eBay, of course. Two actually on Facebook, Poshmark and one on Mercari. I didn't have anything on Etsy. And Bonanza, I just mentioned this in the last what sold. I'd left it on vacation since we went to the, the Highway 127 cell. I forgot. All right, let's get to this then. Um, this, I like this brand. I do not find it very often, but it's called Country Critters and they're like full on hand puppets, um, but they're just a wide variety of animals. I, I probably have found maybe five or six in all of my time, but they usually sell very quickly for me. This one sold for best offer of $15. So definitely keep your eyes out. Oh, it's going to let me look right here inside the thing. And they're just real basic plush. But once you've found them, you almost know when you see them again. But it's just that tag right there. Country Critters. Another snap bat hat. I have tons listed, but they don't move very quickly for me. This is a Sand Sun National Champion Snapback hat, Indiana, Syracuse. 
we find them here quite often at yard sales and estate sales. Usually pay a dollar or less for them. This one sold for best offer of $13. Clothing item that sold, this is an Izod Golf men's short sleeve polo shirt. Took a best offer of $9 for it. Probably paid 50 cents, maybe a dollar for it at a yard sale. Monster High, this was the Scaremester Twyla Boogeyman doll. I took a best offer of $12 for her. Little Tykes Coin Bank, I think I picked these up at the Goodwill bins. I had two of them. This is the second one to sell. I took a best offer of $12 for it. There was a time when those, there's a pink one and there's a blue one, that I was selling them for probably 25 and up, but now 12. This I think came from that estate sale that we went to um, where we bought tons, tons of knickknacks and salt and pepper shakers because they were all like a quarter and 50 cents. And then I think it got to the point where it was like fill in boxes of this stuff. But this was a cute little um, donkey and the salt and pepper shaker was actually the tools on the side of the saddle. Um, it sold for best off for a $15. This is a Snoopy Bell wardrobe. Um, this was for the 10 inch doll. I bought a, a whole small tote of just Bell and Snoopy outfits at an estate sale. I want to say I paid $5 for the box. Um, I've sold quite a few of them. This one sold for $20.66. Another clothing item. This is a Woolrich men's long sleeve shirt. I had a crazy high price on it. Not quite sure, but they've been listed a while. I got a best offer of $22 and I snapped it up. I tell you guys all the time, I don't mind listing smalls individually because I know my buyers appreciate the fact that when they're looking for their little James Tinder that their child has lost, thrown in the garbage can, pitched out the car window, my kids did it, including my car keys one time, um, they don't have to buy a huge lot. I sold this James Wooden Tinder from 2002 for $9.86. Kelly Toy. I pick up a lot of Kelly toy. Most of it is my bread and butter. This little Chevron brown horse sold for $8.96. These next two were from um, one buyer. A lot. I get a lot of people who buy and pay separately. I am getting a video out, hopefully in the day or two, uh, about how to print out the shipping labels when they've paid separately so that you don't have to um, copy over the tracking numbers and all of that or if they haven't paid how you go in to send an invoice. I've got it ready. Robert's just got to get it together. Get it together, Robert. All right, but these were where we parted out a mixer, a Sunbeam Mix Master. This is just the turntable on the bottom and the gasket that went on it. Those two items, sorry, for $19.76. I keep moving the mouse around too much. And then these were the beaters. Um, they sold for $17.95. So definitely, if you can pick up these Sunbeam Mix Masters um, for, for not much, you can part them out for quite a bit. Baby starters. Most of the time when I pick up baby starters, it's loveys, but there are plush um, this is a pink bear called the My First Bear from 2015. Again, bread and butter, $8.96. McDonald's, I'm pretty sure I got these at the Goodwill bins. They were conveniently all in a bag for me. It's not complete. I still sold it for $9.86. Another fast food toy. This was not even going to try. 
ca card captor, Taco Bell plush, um, sold for best offer of $12. This is just a little four inch toy. Uh, Google Lens was my friend on that. This is Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus plush by Yo Toy. I picked up two of these, probably at a yard sale. I can't quite remember recently though. This one sold for $9.86. Um, I thought they were the Coles Cares ones at first, but this one was not. This one was by Yo Toy. I love that book. My grandson loved that series when he was little. Decor. Love this brand. I find it quite, quite often, usually at the bins, but there are these big pot belly plush. I tend to find this brown bear, a koala bear, but they do come in varying sizes. This was the larger one that was 16 inch, dated 1979, and it sold on Best Offer for $40. This is a Gund Pink Elephant Plush 10 inch. I always put the code if I can find it on the tag, so that's the code there. It sold for $13.45. Zippy Paws Alligator Plush. This is a pet toy. Didn't know that when I picked it up. 18 inch. It did not seem like it had been used. I sold it for best offer of $12. Weebles from Hasbro. This is from 2003. I tend, if I can find like a, a car, I'll put a figure with it. A piece of furniture, put a figure with it. Um, and usually list it like $9.95, $12.95. And that way, again, my buyers, if they're looking just to add to their collection, they don't have to buy a bunch that they already have. This sold for $9 best offer. Circo, which is Target. Definitely check your comps when you see um, that brand. I was going to see if I can show you the tag. Well, right there. Can't. It's not very big. Here we go. Right there, Circo. This sold for $22.45. Spark Create Imagine. Love that brand. It is Walmart. This one had a Jingle Bell in it. It sold for $13.45. If you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So when I say it sold for that much, the buyer has also paid for shipping. This is Cuddling Kind. This is a very good brand to keep your eyes out for, except this one had lots of issues. I'm pretty sure this was from the Goodwill bins. I washed it. It's knit, so it ended up showing a lot of wear. There was a stain above the eye that did not come out with normal cleaning. Put all of that in the details. It sold probably the same day I listed it for best offer of $17. A lot of times these sell for 20s, 30s, 40s dollars. I think I've sold, I think it was, uh, I don't remember what it was, but I sold it for like $40. Now this, this took a while to sell, but I just knew it was unique. Couldn't find a whole lot about it. It was by Blue Moon. I just called it a rag doll, doll plush 18 inch chenille. Those were all the keywords. Yarn. Um, had it listed for a while. It ended up selling for $41.36. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at the Goodwill bins in Asheville at some point. Puppy Surprise. The vintage ones do quite well even when you just sell the puppies. Um, this is more contemporary by Just Play from 2016. I ended up taking a best offer of $13 for it. Rescue Heroes by Fisher Price. My kids loved them. So yeah, early 2000s. I pick them up a lot of times at the Goodwill bins and then list them in my bread and butter category or price range. This one sold for $8.96. The animals for me tend to do better than some of the figures, but if I find a bunch of figures, I would definitely pick them up and also the little backpacks that attach to them. This 
this was a surprise. At first, I didn't even realize it was Imaginext. Um, and then Google lensed it and realized that I was going to end another listing that I had other Imaginex in. And then the comps definitely told me this needed to be by itself. It's only been listed maybe a week or so. It's SpongeBob SquarePants, the Crook Prisoner from 2015. It sold for $17.95. This has been sitting upstairs probably well, for a while. Um, we got this the first time we went out to um, the Goodwill Bins in St. Louis. It was actually full of animals. and um, But this part was pretty grungy dirty. It did have some like rust in the hinge area. I finally got it cleaned up listed sold almost immediately for $19.95. Now I did price it at the lower end of comps just because of the condition but sold immediately. CDs. I bought a bunch at an estate sale paid a dollar or two on half price day so either 50 cents or a dollar um, and they I wish I had bought everything there that day instead of picking out ones that I thought were good. This is the House of Blue Light by Deep Purple. It sold for $11.66. I think I've sold almost all of the ones now from that estate sale. A couple of Facebook orders. This was um, Masters of the Universe, uh, the Man at Arms figure. It sold for $7. It did have some condition issues, which I always I, I try to be as accurate as I can when there are condition issues. Otherwise, it's either light playwear or some playwear, depending on how I gauge the condition as far as like for plush, the condition of the fur and everything. But if there's issues, I definitely note them if I know if I notice them. And then this is another puzzle I'm pretty sure we picked up at a flea market place that was going out of business. I think we got a bulk lot, but I'll say we paid a dollar for it. It sold on Facebook for $14. And then some of my Poshmark sales. They, this week, that weekend, I sold, well, these four items. And I don't, I think I've only sold one thing since. So I'm going to have to figure Poshmark out. I need to sit down and watch some videos on how to do everything because I don't really send offers to likers I don't do a whole lot of that this is Old Navy men's jeans they sold for $14 now the thing with Poshmark is you know you you have to consider their fees are a they they're 20 percent if it's over $15 or it's $2.95 flat if it's under $15 but if you think about it, when you compare it to like eBay, by the time you're doing the, if you've got your store on sale and promoted fees and then the regular final value fees, you're probably at some point, some of your items may even be selling for 20% off. So I need to do more on Poshmark um, and just get past that. But I need to figure out how to take care of all the the other stuff that I don't care for on Poshmark. These were a pair of Rockport waterproof mules clogs. Um, pretty sure I picked them up for me and then I didn't like them. Sold them for $18. Ralph Lauren men's shirt sold for $12 on there. We're kind of moving away from shirts and stuff and really just trying to to deal with jeans on there but I have a ton and so I'm not going to waste it. I'm still going to list them and just try to get them gone but a lot of the shirts we sell for like a dollar or less. I mean we paid a dollar or less for them. Tongue tied. And then I am trying to get more loveys and stuff on there. I wasn't going to put a lot of my items that actually normally would ship first class because everything on Poshmark they're paying priority shipping. But I have found, especially with some of the 
like lovies and collectible plush that I have, it doesn't matter. They're going to pay the priority shipping because they're looking for this lovey. So they paid $16 for this one. So I'm going to get more of my lovies and collectibles on there. And then I had one Mercari cell. This was an unpainted bisque ceramic Halloween figure. I bought a bunch at an estate cell, paid a dollar or two for them. And then I think I went back on like a fill a box day and pretty much grabbed a bunch more of them. This one sold for $18. So I think that's it. It's crazy busy here. I have been processing, processing, processing. Probably this week, I want to say way over 200 listings I processed as far as taking the pictures, doing the spreadsheet, and then I'm in the middle right now of trying to get them listed in the mornings when I get up. But crazy, and I have so much more, but I am determined by fourth quarter to have the 1200 plush that I bought um, from Kim listed and the stuff finished the bags that I got from the Goodwill bins. So just a whole lot of listing to get done. But also remember, I did start a coupon for my viewers so that if you go on eBay and purchase anything in my store, which quite a few of you have been doing that, and I should have did this a long time ago, um, you'll get a 10% off. It's Rebel Reseller 10. That's as many characters as I could use. Um, but definitely go in, check things out. No, no push for you to buy from me. Just thought it would be something that I should have been offering because quite a few of you have been helping support my store by purchasing there. So thank you very much. All right. I think I'm going to close this out, eat some lunch, and get to work. Bye.